Hello, my name is Jason McFarland, and I'm the principal of the junior high school. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our families for a great year thus far. We could not ask for more from our students in what has been a very challenging year. Today, I would like to discuss our plan for the fourth quarter. My hope is that questions that you may have will be answered in the video. I will also ask that you discuss this video with your student or students to help them understand the change that may occur. The four day per week model will have all of our students at the junior high on Monday through every Thursday. Fridays will be set aside for student interventions and prep and planning for our staff. The district and building schedule will be posted on the junior high webpage and the four day model will begin on Wednesday, April 7th. The daily and hourly schedule will not change. This means that students will be able to begin arriving at 720 as they have. They will drop things off at their lockers and then they move to their assigned homeroom slash first hour classes. At the end of the day, we will utilize two dismissal times to allow those being picked up or walking to exit the building before our bus riders. Passing times between our classes are going to be reduced to ensure that we maximize our instructional time together. With more students at the junior high, this will make social distancing much more challenging. So we will do what we can to maximize the space that we have to work with. All of the other safety protocols that we have used will remain unchanged. Our staff can't compliment our students enough for their willingness to follow these expectations and to help us ensure the health and, the health and safety of everyone. Our students will be accessing their lockers at the beginning and end of each day. However, during the day, they will be carrying their materials with them as they have all year. Our hallways and staircases will continue to have arrows to show the directional movement. During lunch times, students will be asked to sit on predetermined spots in the cafeteria or in the front foyer of our gymnasium. We will also use our outdoor spaces as the weather permits. In many classes, we can combine cohort A and B together without any adjustments. However, where we have larger classes, we'll be using, utilizing a resource room method to provide additional space. Students will not need a schedule change, but our staff will be collaborating to ensure the needed supervision for these areas. What this means is that students will be divided in accordance with their current cohort assignment, A or B. A staff member will provide all necessary instruction to one of the cohorts, and then at the midpoint of a class, these cohorts would switch. In most cases, the staff members in these resource rooms will be able to provide the necessary contents to, to support the students that they have in those environments. As these collaborations develop, you will find that our staff will be developing and instituting some very creative methods and strategies to assure our students will have an awesome experience. We understand that our students have not followed a traditional schedule for over a year. So this will take everyone some time to get used to. However, our staff also knows how important the fourth quarter will be in transitioning our students to the 2021-2022 school year. As I mentioned, my hope is to make sure that everyone understands what's ahead of us beginning on April 7th. April 7th and 8th will give us two days to identify any issues with our model once we are actually living it. I will then be working with our staff on Friday, April 9th to make any necessary adjustments. We will also continue to utilize an after-school study hall from Monday through Thursday from 3.10 to 4 p.m. to provide extra assistance for students that may need that. If your student is called for these opportunities, you will still receive the automated message via email. If a particular day will not work for your family, you'll have the ability to tell us that. Students may also be called using the same program on the Flexible Fridays. If your family has specific questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me either by phone or email. Again, I want to thank everyone for a great first three quarters, and the staff at the junior high looks forward to a great final quarter of the 2020-2021 school year.